Um, well, I'm actually the lucky one who gets to share a lot of the exciting news today. So, and Joni did mention a little bit about uh, you know, how many years I have of experience, and I have to tell you, I remember when Dave Sullivan did his first class for Brown University. So I was there, I remember part of that. So I don't go back quite as far as Dave does, but I do go back that far. So, But I get to, I get to uh, introduce you to some of the exciting news. It's, it's not as exciting as the strategic plan and, and the strategies that Joni was talking about. Um, but uh, you know, that's no operational or R&D operational plan. Uh, but the R&D plan is exciting. And I'm not gonna share all of it with you, but uh, I will highlight a few key areas. So those areas include uh, the professional management system, uh, new services, and a look at where R&D is headed. So, all right. so what I'm going to start with the professional management system, which started out as a high-level model used to explain the philosophy of professional management. And you, along with the other business owners who have attended the 85, I think now 86, Course for Presidents classes have embraced this simple uh, visual as a reminder and a guide for implementing professional management. Our system has evolved um, over the years into the current model, which provides the DOT framework. Um, it breaks the professional management down into six areas, six key areas that are your disciplines, uh, which you and your operations are responsible for. It breaks professional, uh, or uh, it, although the current system is very effective high level framework, it doesn't provide the guidance beyond those disciplines, and it can be hard sometimes to know where to start and what to do next, and what skills are needed. So you might have noticed uh, toward the end of April that uh, something, was, something was up. And uh, that started with the link that Gene had sent with the Aileron Harlem Shake. How many people got that video? <laughs> All right, it, it may actually be the most viewed video we have. So I think we have some work to do to top that by something a little more instructional. So, um, but that was really done, you know, we had a lot of fun with it, but in the end, there was, there was real intent behind that, and the intent was to signal some change. And yesterday, we sent out a newsletter announcing that we're taking professional management to a new level. And we're transitioning Aileron's professional management system from a very effective, high-level framework to a useful navigation tool, providing clarity and direction, and so you know what is needed. So this month, <coughs> Um, you'll see that we have clarified the language and the definitions to make it more meaningful to you and your organization. We've also refreshed the image. So some of you have seen this, uh, but you'll look at this. We have refreshed the image to reflect the, the new underlying content that goes with it. And these changes ensure a solid foundation for us to build upon. As I mentioned, we're going to another level. So that next step is to extend beyond those disciplines and define the skills or the competencies that are needed to successfully implement each of the disciplines. So here you can see the competencies that we've identified for leadership, and we'll define the competencies needed for each of the disciplines. Our existing services that we have will be linked back to these competencies uh, that they support, making it easier for you to identify those that will help you in your organization and deliver the specific skills. Our new services will be intentionally designed with specific competencies in mind. So expanding our offerings, enabling you and your organizations to go deeper in living professional management. And by this time next year, we will have defined the competencies for each discipline. We'll have provided the ability for you to identify your areas of opportunity. And this will enable you and the client development team to work together to define your personalized development path for you and your organization. We'll continue to challenge and validate the professional management system to ensure we're including the latest best practices. So on Thursday this week, we're hosting a professional management philosophy forum. So this is to ensure we include those latest best practices. Consisting, this forum is going to consist of Joni, Clay, the Aileron R&D team, as well as representatives from the W. Edwards Deming Institute and the Drucker Institute. We'll learn from the collective knowledge and wisdom of, the, of similar thought leaders, and we'll look for future opportunities to promote, improve our professional management system. At this point, I want to turn the focus to services. So Joni mentioned a little bit about services, and Clay alluded to some services that 
may go beyond professional management. There is a need when it comes to health care reform. So we're addressing that as well. But these are two services directly tied to professional management. And we're introducing two services, the course for managers and a culture workshop. And the course for managers is an extension of the course for presidents and the course for senior executives. And so these courses are designed to help you uh, raise the awareness of professional management and dive deeper into your organization. We'll continue to cover the six disciplines in each of these courses. Uh, we'll continue to adjust the focus and target though. So when you look at this from a course for president standpoint, we focus a lot of time and a lot of effort and energy around leadership, strategy, and culture. Although we do spend time on people development, business structure, and performance management. And the course for senior executives, again, we cover all six disciplines, but we focus a, a bit more effort then and more energy on business structure, performance management, and culture. And as we look at the course for managers, again, giving people that broad exposure to the entire system, but really focusing on those areas where the managers have the deeper responsibility around people development and performance management. So all of us that are in these particular levels have these responsibilities, but we have deeper responsibilities in some areas. And that's the intent behind this and how we're framing up those courses. So um, this course targets middle management and their role in the professional management system, and it'll help develop another way of leadership and, and grow your talent. The culture workshop is a working session for business owners and your senior leaders. And it's designed to go deeper in living professional management, helping you intentionally create the culture that aligns with your values, your mission, and your vision. <clears throat> and so those are just a few of the things that, we, that we're working on. Um, we're also moving forward with technology. So Joni mentioned a little bit about that. Um, we're going to uh, host a live webinar, uh, really recreating re, uh, this production and this presentation for those who weren't able to attend today. So we're going to have that webinar on May 23rd, and we'll continue to look for ways to utilize this technology to better connect with you and to expand our reach. We've added another course for presidents. Right, so same type of course and so nothing new, but we've added enough, another course for presidents. So if you've been contemplating recreating your experience um, by retaking the course for presidents, <laughs> now is the perfect time. So we've scheduled a, a CFP alumni only course for presidents. So David would, as Dave would affectionately call them, the retreads. So a retread only course. So, and it's gonna be facilitated by none other, none other than Mr. Dave Sullivan himself. So if you're looking at, that, at uh, attending that class before Dave graduates, that's the one for you. So uh, that particular course is scheduled for October 1st and 2nd. And uh, again, Dave will be facilitating that course. So we have um, additional tools and services, um, as well as new technologies in various stages of planning and development. And we'll share more of those as they get closer to their release. And again, you can expect a, a series of professional management system releases um, to transition from that high level um, framework to the useful navigation tool. So here's what I would throw out though, is, is we challenge you to continually reach for new levels of professional management. So review and adopt the language of the updated DOC system and leverage the new and existing services and resources. 